How's it going YouTube? I'm Landon and have you guys ever wondered what the future is going to look like? Well right now we live in a world with technology. Technology has changed the world drastically from being able to save people's lives to self driving cars. And I still don't know how I feel about that one, the self driving cars. There are a ton of benefits and also a ton of concern when it comes to technology. Well on this list we're going to be talking about jobs that won't exist soon and this could be because of technology has been replacing the need of people to do certain jobs. In the comment section below let me know what jobs you guys think won't exist in 10 years I'm interested to know so this is the top 10 jobs that won't exist in 10 years starting us off like we always do number 10 we have cashiers we all know that a lot of companies has been using automated machines for people to order what they want to buy it's fast it's cheap it's easy for example if you guys are going to McDonald's right now there are those many like big screens and you're like oh this is awesome but for the people who work there they, a lot of people probably lost hours layoffs these automated machines are very helpful for keeping the line short and moving quickly. But eventually we won't need cashiers at all. Maybe just like one cashier or two to make sure the machines are still up and running. Also buying things online has been eliminating cashiers because you can just check out online. I mean, no one has to cash you out. They just, you just pay it, credit card, and it's delivered in front of your door. Number nine, we have travel agents. I've never used one. This is probably hence the reason why they're gonna be all gone in like 10 years. Over the recent years, I see more and more travel agent locations shutting down because I'm just not using them. <laughs> no, it's because we're just, we're just not going there. And the reason why is because we're all becoming familiar with booking online. There are now websites and apps that make it easier than ever to book your dream vacation. Why do you need a travel agent when you can just type in hotels.com or go to Expedia. You can cut out the expensive middleman. The middleman you don't want. The middleman who's in your back pocket. The middleman who, yeah, you guys get it. Travel agents usually just direct you to hotels or flights where they get a little bit of commission even if it's not the perfect trip that you want. It's still, uh, it's decent. Even when you go to airports nowadays, you don't see a lot of travel agents at the counters of the airlines because, uh, yeah, that's all animated as well. You can now check in online. You can walk up to the baggage area and it's animated. You can just beep your bag in, get the little sticker thing, and away the bag goes. Hopefully away to your destination and not lost. Post service comes in at number eight. With millions of people no longer feeling the need to send anything in the mail, this is a huge hit for the postal service industry. Technology is destroying the need for post service. It's much faster to text someone, email, or even to call them. You can also scan and send important documents if you have to. Forget about sending it in the mail, way too long. Let's face it, post service is just too slow. The postal service used to be a huge booming industry, but now it's been at a red light for a while now. The postal service is actually losing a ton of money which is why there's been major layoffs in major companies. Number seven are taxi dispatchers and even taxi drivers. The taxi industry seems to be stuck in the past and didn't adapt or accept the new world and the technology world. Companies like Uber and Lyft are totally destroying the taxi industry. The taxi industry has constantly tried to battle Uber in court and doing protests causing the company to burn millions of dollars. I think instead of burning millions of dollars why not adapt to what's happening now? Create an easy app. You become the better Uber. I like Uber because you don't have to deal with money all the time. You just go in, you have a good ride, it's a rating system, you only pick up the people that have good rating systems. And taxi drivers, for some reason, all they want is cash. You go there, you're having a night out, you're a little bit tipsy, you don't have cash, you want to bring out your debit card, credit card, and for some reason, they, they're just going to tell you to get out and you're stranded. You're drunk somewhere, stranded, you don't know how to get home. Well, this is when you Uber. So there's lots of problems with taxis. Well, right now there are places Ubers is actually illegal to be in, and it's just a matter of time Uber is gonna be accepted everywhere, and this is just horrible, horrible news for the taxi industry, obviously. Number six, the weatherman. Waking up in the morning and putting the TV on to listen to the weatherman will be a thing completely in the past. Like when I get older, I'll be like, kids, I used to wake up and have to sit there through commercials watching the weather, and uh, they're just gonna look at me like, what the heck is, my gramps is crazy. This is because the younger generation just doesn't have the patience to sit in front of a TV to listen to the weather when we could just easily grab our smartphones and say Siri what is the weather today or you can go online and just type in what the weather is and plus why do we need the weather man when we can just look outside it's yeah it's gonna rain today and you look in the news and they're like it's not gonna rain but it's clearly raining right now weather man also who's even watching TV these days we have services like Netflix and YouTube that is destroying cable television all right number five news vendors that's right news vendors won't be around in 10 years. Okay, it might be. The newspaper
newspaper has been around since the 1600s. One of the biggest newspapers today and of all time pretty much is the New York Times. It's been around since 1851. That's 165 years. But because of technology and easily accessing news stories online, we no longer have to wait till the next day to find out about these big headline news stories. YouTube has become a great place to hear about news stories and also on any social media platform. Twitter is always up to the minute with new information. A newspaper has to wait till the next day. If something happens, they have to wait until the morning to get it on the paper. Newspapers can be limited to how many stories and how many pages can be printed. With Twitter, there are millions upon millions of tweets that you can just read. You can read what people have to say, their comments, their responses. It's more engaging as well. What are you going to do? Have a newspaper and write out your response to it and send it back to someone? And also, you get to access your word puzzles online. There really isn't much point in reading a newspaper these days. At number four is social media experts. It is obvious that social media has become very prominent in our day to day living. Because of this, a lot of people are being hired on as social media expert managers. However, the skills and knowledge that are associated with the fields will become more common knowledge than specialized and eventually people will be able to figure things out on their own without having to pay someone to manage their social media. We become the social media experts. I don't need an expert if we know how to do it. I can post a picture, do some hashtaggers. Moving into number three are telemarketers. There was a time when you absolutely did not want to answer your phone because you thought it was a telemarketer trying to scam you or for you to sign up to something just useless. Like, I don't want to sign up to a newspaper service. Bro, I got the internet. Well, they still exist, but a lot of them aren't actually people anymore. They were replaced with automated robots, like robocalls. These robots are able to make more calls in less time while eliminating the need to pay employees. One upside to this, it is a lot easier to hang up on them because you don't feel so rude. Like, you're hanging up on a robot. Like, I don't, I don't care. They got no soul for now until we invent that. Now at number two, we have manufacturing workers. This occupation is quickly dying and it's been happening for a while now. The United States has to lay up several manufacturing workers over the years because we simply don't need armies of manufacturing workers like we used to. Factories have now become more automated and manufacturing jobs have been relocated overseas where labor is cheaper, aka over to China. Unfortunately, these jobs aren't coming back and they will most likely continue to disappear in the future. And finally, at number one, we have Am I reading this right? We have YouTubers? Okay, this is a very scary one to me, but I've learned that all great things come to an end, no matter how impossible it sounds. I mean, I don't think I'm going anywhere for a long time, but anything is possible, which is, it sucks. YouTube has been around since 2005, which is just 12 years ago. We have all learned that this is a world of technology and a world of competition. There might be the next YouTube platform that is much better. YouTube has made a ton of mistakes. Maybe there's something out there that has learned from YouTube's mistakes, and they're gonna create an even better platform. Platform. Hashtag no ad apocalypse. We have to be naive to think that YouTube will last forever, but you know what? YouTubers will just jump to the next best thing. We all know that we've had many YouTubers over parties, and we just experienced a YouTube boycott that eliminated a lot of big YouTubers. But actually, some of them are slowly coming back. KSI is back. Scare seems to be back. There's, there's people coming back. Hashtag YouTube is here party. Well, there you guys have it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys all in the next one.